Okay, I found an interesting subject um, to make a video on. I had uh, a person just just uh, maybe an hour or so ago mention um, about uh, why didn't I run my uh, two heat exchangers? I got the Burger Motorsports uh, heat exchanger, and why didn't I make the decision to run the stock heat exchanger in tandem with that? And and you know, I didn't really have that great of an answer other than. I just thought this was a giant piece of shit. Um, and if you held this in person and you saw how flimsy this was and how flexible it is and how thin the metal is, and the, literally, you know, these end tanks are so small and the gaps in between there are so small, you wouldn't even be able to distinguish water in these channels. So this is so small. So I commented back how small this uh, heat exchanger probably holds. And I didn't really have a clue. I was like, maybe it holds a, a drinking glass, you know, I, how ridiculous that is. And so I was like, man, I got this up in my garage. Why don't I get it and go make a video and see how much extra fluid this would hold in addition to the massive Burger Motorsports um, uh, heat exchanger that has end tanks that probably hold as much as, on each side, as much as this one, um, you know, heat exchanger. And that's not the fluid in between the center, but I'm not going to get too complicated. So we'll just see how much fluid this holds. So it's empty. Um, I'm going to fill this up. I have a glass, a drinking glass to show you. So let me just get to this so I don't extend this out and make the video too long. And... Okay, so here we go. I'm going to turn the fluid on, the water, and fill it up. Make sure it's full. You can see the water is right there at the edge. I'm going to try to fill it up just a right at the edge. Edge to edge. Shut the water off. Okay, and I'm going to show you how much fluid, extra fluid, this would hold in addition to the Burger Motorsports. Is it worth? It's starting to overflow right there. Um, okay, that's full. Okay, um, how much extra fluid is it worth to, uh, to run this additional piece? And I will note real quick, you know, that these nipples, uh, the in, inner portion and the outer portion, when I went to install my Burger Motorsports, because people just don't know. A lot of people are, are just reading and they don't own the car. They haven't held this. They haven't held the Burger Motorsports a heat exchanger. They haven't held the AMS heat exchanger. They just don't fathom because video is hard to distinguish about the size and, and how something sturdy something is. So um, I think this is going to be a helpful, a helpful, helpful video um, to show. Um, so yeah, and my Burger Motorsports, when I took uh, the clamps off here and then tried to hook those up to my Burger Motorsports, the clamps wouldn't even go around the nipples uh, or the spigots of of the uh, Burger Motorsports. I had to uh, go up to the auto parts store and buy bigger worm clamps because these are so much smaller in, in internal diameter. Um, so um, this piece flowing, uh, I just can relate this to uh, sucking water through here would be like sucking through a straw. I mean, it's just so limiting and so small, um, you know, where the Burger Motorsports is just so much larger and heavier and more of a heat sink. Um, okay, so just get to the point. Here's I'm gonna empty. Make sure my glass is empty. This is just a standard drinking glass, one that's actually a bigger one that I have. And so I'm gonna just uh, fill this up. Okay, results. That's a half a glass. Oh, my isn't too high. That's a half of a half of a drinking glass. I don't know what size this is, uh, drinking glass wise, but I I put it in a measuring cup and it came out to about seven and a half ounces. 
maybe just under eight ounces. So an eight ounce drinking glass. So it would be, you know, half a 16 ounce drinking glass. So the question is, is this much coolant, extra coolant in your coolant system? Is this going to realistically produce any, any you know, phenomenal, much more cooling? Um, I'm, I'm not a thermodynamics or a fluid engineer. Um, is this much more coolant? How much is that going to reduce coolant temps? Um, I mean, how much more is eight ounces compared to what a, a gallon and a half in the regular system? How much extra is this going to help cool? So most people, I, I didn't necessarily, I knew it was small. I knew it was really, really small, but I would have thought maybe it would have been a full drinking glass, not just seven and a half ounces of water or coolant, you know, uh, through the system. So there you go. That's a result. Take that for what you will. Um, I mean, is it an additional bonus to have this extra coolant with the heat exchanger flowing through your system? Um, is that going to give you any big advantage? Um, I would say no. Um, and, you know, when the heat exchanger runs and you're running it, you know, for an hour, you're driving the car for an hour, all the, the fluid heats up. Um, so any additional little extra fluid you have, that's it's going to be, you know, if it's the uh, heat exchangers at 120 degrees, that's not going to change that temperature. But, you know, I, I can't even tell you if it's going to change that. So there you go. Hopefully that helps give some clarification of how small this is and what you think this benefit of having this additional uh, in conjunction to another heat exchanger, um, the reservoir tank that AMS has, uh, it says it gives you an extra gallon and a half um, that just dwarfs uh, this half a cup of glass here so that's not even a, com a comparison and so um, and then you have a hose if you have an extra hose on there that's that long and the diameter the inner diameter of that hose that's I mean I could um, spit that out and I mean it's like a straw in, in the inside of that hose so there's not really any, you'd have to have a, you know, six feet of hose to get any more substantial fluid out of that hose. So um, there you go. If you like what I presented um, in some of my other videos, like and subscribe. If you found this helpful, uh, like I said, like and subscribe. And I appreciate you checking in and watching my videos. Have a great day and a good night.